Did you know that organizing your blog post into categories can improve reader engagement and SEO? But how do you set this up if you're using Ghost? Maybe that's why you're here. I love using Ghost, but when I first started using it, I didn't understand how to categorize my blog post. It wasn't very intuitive for me, but let's solve that problem right now. Now, if you're currently using Ghost, this is what my blog looks like on Ghost. And I was always confused at how am I gonna organize this content? And if you go into the back end, you go into a blog post, and over here, you will open up a sidebar and this has got a bunch of information, right? And so I would go through this trying to figure out, like, I don't see categories. Where are the categories? I'm confused. And boy, it was troubling. But there is a solution for you. In fact, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip at the very end as well. So here's where categories live. They are called tags. And if you click on tags, you will have a spot where you can go and create a new tag. Now, I like creating my categories around the key areas. So I have launch your blog, manage your blog, market your blog, monetize your blog, product review, and publish your blog. And if we jump into one of these, launch your blog, you'll see here we've got the name of that category, the slug, which we'll look at in just a second. It's the actual place on your website that's got all of the posts that fit under that particular category. You have a place for a description that you can fill in. You've got some metadata down here because these category pages can rank and it can bring you traffic. You can add an image if you want to. But if I click on view tag right here, you'll see, and again, this is According to the theme I'm using right now, you can change your blog theme, but this is what a category page looks like. Now I could add an image in here and make it a little nicer, but look at all these blog posts that all fit underneath this category of launch your blog. So there you go, that creates the category. Now, what do you do in an actual blog post? Let's jump in to one I haven't published yet. This is email marketing magic. If I open up the sidebar over here, you can see this is where you add the tag. And if you click on this, you will see these tags. Now notice that you do see some with hashtags. I'm gonna show you in just a second what those are, but they do not show up publicly. Those are called private tags. But if we come back in here, you can see here I can choose, oh, this email marketing magic is really about marketing your blog. So in fact, it's probably more monetizing your blog. So I'm gonna put it in that category. There you go, and that will save that setting. Now, if we go back into tags, let me show you when you go to create a new tag, it will ask you right here that if you start any with a hashtag, this will create an internal tag. Now you can click on this, learn more, hop over here, watch a video, get some ideas on how you could use it. But this is an internal way to also organize your content. So for example, if I were to back up here, let's leave this, and we flip over to internal tags, you'll see some here. This is one when I originally imported all of my content from WordPress, over into Ghost, we used a hashtag import. I did a hashtag for my main pillar content. These are the main posts on my site that I want all my other site, my other blogs to point to. This was a hashtag for a guest or a ghost blogger who was had written some posts and I've eliminated this now. He's written way more than one post, but yeah. So these are just internal. They're never seen on the outside. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bonus tip here, actually two, if you really want to use these categories. The first one is related, and by the way, if you're enjoying this content, if you like this type of content, will you let me know by hitting the like button and even hitting subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you can get notified the moment a new video drops. I know many of you have gone through my Ghost tutorials and it's helped you to get set up on Ghost and let me know if you enjoy more content. I'll create more content related to ghost.io. All right, 
So what if you wanted, go back to the homepage, what if you wanted, instead of featured articles, you wanted your blog categories to show up here? You're probably going to need to change your theme if you cannot find it. So I will jump back over here and show you where you can go. So you can go down here, my video's in the way here. You can go down here, click on the gear icon. You can go over to, scroll down, go over to design and branding. And you can look under the customization. Now these are going to depend on your um, theme that you're using, right? So you come in here and you go site-wide, got logos, okay, the home page. Right here has featured title, featured articles, latest title for the latest down here in the latest blog post. So I could even put articles, and you'll see it change down there. And so you get a feel for changing this, right? But there is nothing for these featured articles. So I'm using the edition theme version 1.0. And what you can do though, is you can come down here and change your theme and go find a theme. And you may need to look around a little bit, find a theme that allows you to feature your categories instead of featured articles. So that's one little pro tip. And let me give you one more. If I just go out of all this, save, close. You can also go to your navigation we can customize the navigation bar and we can come down here and we could create one called categories. And what you could do with these is you could actually label them specifically. So if I wanted to say something like launch your blog, then I would just find the tag here and I could go down and add the next one. So how am I gonna find the tag? Let's go back in, let's pull up ghost and let's go back in here into the back end. We're gonna go down to tags. And if we click on launch your uh, blog, you find it here, but you can also click on the view tags here. You can grab that tag and we can put, go back over here where we were and we could it in right here you can see it right here launch your blog at the very top if i click on it boom there's the category page so there you go that is how you can stay organized internally and also externally for seo and for your readers as they come under your blog if you want more tutorials on how to completely set up ghost i have an entire playlist on getting started with ghost and setting it all up from scratch and you can go right over here and watch lesson one right now. It's completely free. Watch the videos, set up Ghost the way that you want, and start building your audience. We'll see you in that video.